how to control animations in Canva and how to animate images in Canva and control the sequence and just go ahead and control the animation overall. Hey everyone and welcome, we hope you're all doing great. Let's just go ahead and jump into it and show you how we can get an image and use Canva to turn it into an animation. This could be for your profile picture, this could be for your logo, it really doesn't matter uh, what it is for. You can actually go ahead and grab any picture and start uh, designing. So in my case, let's just go ahead and try to make uh, a profile picture that is movable or has some sort of an animation. So first, you would want to just go ahead and click on create a design. Now, it, I mean, if you do already have a file that you want to use, you can just go ahead and upload it from here. But for me, I'm just going to click on create a design. I'm just going to search for profile picture here. Real quick, and I'll just use this template. So I've just found this design here, uh, as well as others that you can use. And you can see here, we have a few elements that we can actually just go ahead and start animating. Now, you can also replace this image in the middle. I'm not going to do so, but if you want to, you can just drag and drop here and whatever it may be. Now, to animate uh, anything, really, you would want to first grab the item that you actually want to animate. So you can just go ahead and grab this, for example, uh, this text here. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and click on animate on the top. A corner here which should show up once you click on pretty much anything so we can just go ahead and click on animate and i believe if you also select multiple things you can also animate all of them at once which actually i'm going to do this instead and just click on animate now once you do that it's going to show us a few things that we can actually uh input here so right now it's an image but here we have some animations that we can actually do and it's going to look a little something like this if we use the rise animation. If you was if you want to use the pan animation, it's going to look like this fade animation. Uh, sorry, animation blur wipe, uh, and there's plenty to choose from. So go ahead and try to locate something that you actually like. I think I'm just going to use this one. It does actually look quite nice. So we can just go ahead and click on it. And then once you actually click on it, there are going to be more options here to choose from. So for example, we have the animate here, which is going to show you when do you want the animation to start or, you know, actually show. You have three options, whether it's going to be on enter. So as you can see here, once the image or the video starts, the animation starts, it's going to actually show. Or you can actually do it on exit. So only once it's going to be like over, it's going to show the animation or even both. So it's going to be on enter and on exit. I'm just going to keep it as on enter. And then from here, we can just go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And you will have two options here that require the uh, upgrade for Canva to choose, which is going to be the speed of the animation and also the direction of the animation. So here is going to be left, right. And if you choose a different one, it's going to also include more stuff to it. Or you can just go ahead and change um using you know a different animation here which is also going to be included now we also have the create an animation option here uh, which you can also use if you just go ahead and click on it you can actually move stuff yourself uh, it's going to be some sort of a manual um basically manual animation uh, which if you just hold shift and just drag them you can actually see we can create that sort of animation to it. And if we just let go, it's going to be a little bit messy. If you know what you're doing, it's going to work well. But I don't really want to, to do that. I'm just going to delete path. And then you can just go ahead and try again if you would like. But I'm not going to do so right now. And now we should have an anim... I mean, I did uh, change it. So let's just go back, animate. And then I uh, did not save it. So let's just go ahead and add this. And I want it to be on enter and we are pretty much set. Uh, now we also get to the option to, uh, if you have an animation, change the duration for it. Here you can actually see the uh, full duration is going to be five seconds here. Uh, but if we just select that and go to the pan animation here. Uh, and we try to actually change the duration. I'm kind of lost with this new layout. Hold on. Okay, so no, you actually need to add another page to have the ability to change the time limit for them. 
here is going to be five seconds which is the default and you can also just go ahead and change it to uh, something less so we can actually just make it 1.5 seconds if you want it to be a little bit faster and here we can also change it so it is 1.5 seconds and it's going to add up uh, so you can actually go ahead and create another animation down here and if you just go ahead and download it as a gif or gif file is going to be uh, including both so this is going to be sequence number one and this is going to be sequence number two so let's just go ahead and get something real quick so I just got this image and I just replaced it. Uh, let's say I just want to add an animation to this as well. So we can just go in and do and real quick. And we are pretty much done here. So if we just go ahead and uh, export this now as a GIF file. Uh, here first you can actually see it. Instead of exporting it and stuff you can actually just view it from here. So yeah, the only thing left for you to do is just go ahead and change the duration to your liking and we are pretty much set. So you just need to go ahead and adjust everything accordingly here. The background is a little bit less than what you would want. So uh, make sure you have more elements. The more elements that you have, the better the animation is going to look. Anyways, hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.